What's up with the people, man? What is happening with it? Subscribe. You see it. Uh, big one on this. Pretty important. Pretty important video right here. Look, DeSantis, man, can't say enough about him. He holds it down for Florida. When it comes to DeSantis, he's one of us, man. He's one of the people. Okay, DeSantis is a. Uh, there's not too many politicians out there that, uh, you know, the people ride with. The dude gets everything, man. Uh, he gets it. He gets everything from big tech. He gets it all. He just signed the, uh, a bill for no more wokeness here in Florida. Uh, he does, he's on top of it, man. Um, that's my bromance. But look, he signed the bill recently. We're going to get into it. Okay. It's about fentanyl dealers. Uh, I think everybody, if you're watching this, I mean, unless you've been living under a rock, it's dropping people like flies. You know, may, some of you even personally, it's it's affected some, maybe your family, friends, coworkers. I know somebody some way involved with you, you probably lost somebody to this epidemic. So let's check out the, the new bill um, and uh, let's get into a little bit. You know, they are not playing in Florida, okay? You can now get a attempted murder charge if the person who you sold the FET to ends up overdosing. Let's get into it. That patient's son was the one that found him. Tom Conzi, a 15-year veteran of Polk Fire Rescue, has seen plenty of overdose emergencies. This young child was under the age of 10, and he witnessed this whole thing. But there's one call that still sticks with him. When we think of fentanyl, we think of the addicts, we think of the dealers. But what we forget sometimes are the other victims in this crisis, the families, especially the children. The opioid crisis has touched millions of families and children across the U.S., in Florida, overdose deaths related to fentanyl have risen by 63% since 2019. Damn. Son was the one that found him. Tom Conzi, a 15-year veteran of Polk Fire Rescue, has seen plenty of overdose emergencies. This young child was under the age of 10 and he witnessed this whole thing. But there's one call that still... Look here, people. It does affect uh, families. All day it does, you know, um... It's dropping people like flies, but it's not just fentanyl, okay? Fentanyl is literally its own thing, okay? But it is in everything now, okay? They make fake drugs with fentanyl. Uh, they make fake, they cut cocaine with it, okay? With fentanyl. Pills, you know, they make fake Xanax with fentanyl. They make fake painkillers with fentanyl it's in everything so i don't know how this is going to work um you know but again back to the whole thing of i know that if you're watching this i know you know somebody unfortunately that has something to do with overdosing okay a family friend co-worker whatever have you unfortunately you've had this bad news Sticks with him. When we think of fentanyl, we think of the addicts, we think of the dealers. But what we forget sometimes are the other victims in this crisis, the families, especially the children. The opioid crisis has touched millions of families and children across <clears throat> the U.S. In Florida, overdose deaths related to fentanyl have risen by 63% since 2019. The powerful drug is incredibly lethal. If there's people that wonder what a <laughs> deadly... You see the Sampus. The Sampus is literally this sitting there. I forget the guy from Sarasota. He's kind of a big... Um, he's really tough on crime himself, but you see the man... Grady himself is there. You got to uh, look at the smirk on the Sampus. You have one of, the, one of the most outspoken sheriffs in the whole country sitting next to DeSantis. If you, you, a lot of you may not know this. DeSantis has given a thousand dollar raise to all, all law enforcement last year, especially with all the BLM crap going down. Uh, let's get into it. Zipped, two milligrams. 
Fentanyl is 50 to 300 times more potent than morphine. And many overdose victims don't even realize that's what they're taking. We have folks buying this pill that's stamped M30 that looks like oxycodone. Now Florida lawmakers are turning up the heat on dealers. Put some bad people away right here. Today, Governor Ron DeSantis signed a new law increasing sentences for drug dealers. Man, all I can tell you, man, if you ain't from around here, do not come to Florida messing around. Get rid of this stuff, man. They will hide you. They will hide you. Caught selling fentanyl or methamphetamine. Someone dealing fentanyl is murdering people, and they are going to go to prison in the state of Florida. The new law allows prosecutors to pursue first-degree murder charges against a dealer if a fentanyl or methamphetamine yeah. overdose causes a death. That means dealers could face life in prison or even the death penalty. Mike Atani, whose son died of fentanyl overdose in 2018, says his son didn't get a second chance and neither should dealer. He's got a point. He's got a point. Life in prison. Life in prison. You know, another thing about this interesting is I don't know who knows this. I don't even know. If it's like this around the rest of the country, I would, I assume that it was at one point. You know, back in the day, there was a problem here, man. When people would overdose, um, no matter what the situation was or wherever somebody was, if, if, if you were with somebody and they overdosed or the crowd of people, whatever have you, whatever scenario you could put there, whether you know this or not, this is why a lot of people die. OK. In that spot, if someone overdoses, people get all freaked out. They're already high. They don't know what to do. They figure if they call um, 911 ambulance, whatever, and they get out there, they might get blamed for it. OK, this is way before this bill, mind you. They made a law, OK, um, a while back that would protect you if you got the person help because people would just leave people. It would all over, especially in Florida. People were just getting left out of control, out of control. So I don't know, man, if you're struggling, you, you need help, Google it, man. There's there's a, there's plenty of online help. There's communities everywhere for that. But if you're deep down in it, if, if you're going through this road, going through, <laughs> if you're going through this right now, please, man, reach out for help first and foremost. You can do it, man. Uh, email me. It's all in the description and everything. But always remember that, man, because that is dead wrong. It makes you think how many people really are living with that right there on their conscience. I refuse to call this a uh, an overdose because I truly believe that if you're intentionally giving somebody something, that you know is going to kill him. It's, it's, I'm going to call it a murder from now on because that's exactly what it is. It's a murder. The hope is that by upping the penalties on these lethal drugs, they'll be able to put away the people. Push All right, man, you see it. It's, a, it's, it's now a law. The Santis man, get out there for him. I know I'll, uh, I'll be doing my part with the wifey. You know, uh, do the research on the, uh, the old history of them passing a law, you know, if if you leave somebody, um, man, definitely reach out if you're going through this. I know a lot of the subscribers write about it uh, in the comments or what have you. Hey, look, man, if you're going through addiction, it's a tough road, uh, a very tough road, but it could be done. Do your part. Um, look, don't be moving down here in Florida with no shenanigans, man. You can get life. You could spend the rest of your life behind the wall. And, and, and do not come down here messing around. There's a catalog of videos I have, literally, about horrendous stories inside Florida DOC. It's just not worth it. Call it crazy. Call it ridiculous. Just don't call it white boy. And on that one, man, I'm out of here. Y'all follow the Twitter. Stay safe. Stay out. Stay solid. Until the next one. It's White Boy Radio, and we're everywhere. Smash that like and share, man. I hate asking for it, peeps. I hate asking for it. It's right there. And check it out. Also, YouTube, they gave me a little tip option, peeps. They gave me a little tip, tip option. It's right by the like button. You can now uh, 
like, dislike, share. You can now tip. It's like a super chat tip button on any video. Check it out if it's for you. If it's not for you, best thing you can do is just subscribe, though, man. It's free. And on that one, man, we're out of here, man. I care less about that attorney and whatever he feels and thinks about. That family has ignored phone calls. That